All right, it's the weekend edition, Simply Bitcoin. We break down the news from Twitter, the daily fail, meme review, software releases, the websites by plebs or plebs. Drop us a like, subscribe. Here we go. Let's kick it off with the numbers. At the time of this recording, the block height is 684,681. The Bitcoin price, 32,270. Chain rewrite days, 668. Total public lightning capacity, 1,345.73. Bitcoin versus gold market cap, 4.93. Sats per dollar, 3,085, man. Oh, yeah. That number's moving up. So there, there, there's some heavy stacking that can happen here. You can already stack almost double from a week ago. Dude. In That's th- not good. In 39 <laughs> days, we have fallen 50% from an all-time high of $64,000. If that is not a correction, I don't know what is. Uh, Okay, so you know what though? Let's let's be let's let's be honest, right? The word correction is very misleading. I I even I even always found that even in in stocks, right? Like, but but like, please elaborate. What do you mean by that? Like, think of it like this, right? Like, how do you know it's a correction? Like a correction to what? Right? Like a correction to an accurate price level. How do we Mm. know what the accurate price level is? Like it's, it's very, it's very misleading, you know? So, and I say that even in terms of, like I said, even when it comes to stocks, you know, like they, they just like the price drops. Oh, it's, it's a correction. It's like, really? How is that a correction? It could be the market misunderstanding the asset, Mm. right? That's not a correction, but anyways, it's just funny how, you know, we, we have these automatic words that we're taught and that we use them and like. You know, because like, think about it, right? Like it conjures up ideas, right? A correction. Oh, it's going back to where it belongs. Really? Mm, I got you. I got you. Anyway, just funny. Maybe. Funny words. Maybe it's something that we tell tell ourselves, you know, to feel it's just, better. It's just funny words. Like, I, I don't think it's necessarily a correction. But hey, look, you know, we're definitely getting a nice dip in the action. We're getting a pullback. And you know what? To me, the fundamentals are intact of, hey, developers are still developing. Blocks are still churning out. I don't see any different. Like Bitcoin hasn't changed. Absolutely. You know? and yep. You're, you're completely right. The fundamentals are exactly the same. And if guys, if this is your first cycle, just to let you know, this is absolutely normal. This has happened many, many, many times before. They're mm-hmm. usually around 40% corrections. We have had some 50% corrections, mm-hmm. not so often as the 30 to 40% corrections, but eh. anyways, but, uh, eh. Let's see. The most important part, part, guys, is just keep stacking, hodl, hodl, hodl. You know, you thought it was going to be easy, huh? (laughs) Anyways, Phil, it's time for the daily fail. All right, guys, the daily fail today. We're going to, you know, we're going to take again another step away from Elon, the the horrible Bitcoin Twitter fail. And we're going to focus on a tweet from Denver Bitcoin, who is not a fail, has been on our show, talked about mining, good Bitcoiner. Anyways, here's what Adam has to say. Some coin called DeFi 100 gets rug pulled. And now this message is up on their website. (laughs) Have fun with your DeFi token kids. So here we go. Let's uh, let's see what's up on their website. Oh, a rebase. Oh, we can see what that's about now. Now we understand a little bit more about what a rebase is. <laughs> scammed you guys, and you can't do shit about it. Taha. Uh-huh. All you moon boys have been scammed, and you can't do shit about it. Death's in. Fuck you, moon boys. Isn't that nice? That, that, doesn't, that, doesn't that really just, like, when, when I picture the future of sound money, okay, and I picture my, you know, my family, you know, possibly needing, you know, this, you know, these finances in the future, I picture that exact website happening when they go to withdraw their funds. And I think to myself, that is exactly the secure base that I want my future on. <laughs> like, really? Like, and, 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 like, and I want you to think about all these complete morons that are out there touting this crap to you, okay, about something like that, where literally one night to the next, everything is gone. It, it, it disappeared completely. There is zero chance of redemption. I, I mean, it's, you know what I was on, um, 
I was on, uh, what's it called? LC's, uh, blue collar plebcast, which is a new podcast. Okay. And, uh, we were talking exactly about this. Okay. About how literally, you know, with these situations, you, you put, you know, you put your hard earned money into it and it just disappears. Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. What's all gone? The money in your account. It didn't do too well. It's gone. You know, completely. Like, you have zero shot at redemption. There's there's nothing. Anyways. Unbelievable. Oh, unbelievable. And uh, I think this is another Simply Bitcoin, we told you so moment. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, man. It, it, look, guys, if you haven't noticed yet, DeFi isn't really DeFi. It's more like CeFi. <laughs> because if it was DeFi, they wouldn't be able to do that. Um, Centralized. But it's crazy, man. It's like, you know, you have Yam, you had Sushi, you have all these animal crap coins. And here's just another example, bro. And, and you know, they those those rug pullers ran off with, I think it was $32 million worth of whatever shit coin it was. Uh, so, yeah, man, look, we told you so. If you just would have bought Bitcoin and think in having terms or think have a, a long time preference, you know, you won't get rich overnight, but you'll get significantly wealthier over a long period of time, which I think, you know, I think it's a better strategy, right? Like why? Like, look, out of the 99, out of the one person that gets lucky on the shit coins, there's 99% of them that get absolutely wrecked. You want to know how we know this? Phil and I are perfect examples of that. We've we've lost tremendous amount of potential potential corn because we went through the shitcoin casino, right? So it's just like this is just another warning, guys. Like just like look, have patience, just stack sats, you know, focus on living life. And you'll see after a long period of time, number grow up technology. It never fails. But anyways, Phil, it's time for the daily meme review. All right, everybody. The meme for today is brought to us by a pleb, a pleb, pleb, a pleb, 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 pleb. No, nay. <laughs> Anyways, his name is Tony You could follow him at stacking underscore sats underscore. I love that name. Yeah, Anyways, he is awesome. Check, he yeah, is awesome. Dude, his memes are on point. Anyways, let's check yeah. it out. Plebs Always. with each other. <laughs> Plebs against. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. See? Doesn't take much to unite us. Dude. Just the right, just the right incentive. It's so funny, bro. Now that Bitcoin's been going like kind of sideways. Uh like, you know, it, it's it's oh man. It's just every the everyone's just consuming each other. But for that meme, I'm going to give it a book that I'm currently reading. Uh pretty interesting. It's called The Black Book of Communism. Very interesting book. It, it's it's a historical, you know, step by step of of communism in the last century. Anyways, I'm a nerd like that. What would you give that, Phil? You know what? I I think that that is just a traditional concept in Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin is the money of enemies and it is our shilling point. And it's like we don't agree on very much altogether. And there's a lot of arguing all the time. Um so you know what? Being the classic theme that it is, I'm going to give it a classic score. A banana. Oof. Just gets okay. a, a plain peeled banana. Classic score for a classic meme. Oh, awesome. Okay. So a big black book of the atrocities of communism and a banana for an awesome meme by Tony.Hoddle. Anyways, Phil, it's time for The Daily News, sponsored by... Crypto cloaks. Nice. Uh, dude. Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to do a countdown because that oh. was our genuine surprise to this. Five. Just pulled up the, just pulled up the page. 95.23. It's going through. Now we could say it's, it's not that it looks like it's going through. This is going through. This is awesome, bro. This Holy is peanut butter crap. jelly time. Here we go. So guys, while the price, you know, is just like catastrophe, look at the good things that are happening on in the background. Bitcoin's chugging along. It doesn't care. Honey Badger doesn't care. Anyways, that's super, super awesome, Phil. Dude, I can't believe that happened in a completely decentralized manner with all the FUD that's going on right now. And it's just like all these mining pools and they're going to miss out some of the fees, right? Uh, on some, uh, on a little bit of fees with, with, with Taproot. But like, 
It's crazy that the community came together like this, man. That makes me really happy for some reason. Phil? I love it. I love it. Uh, I mean, look, this is this is kind of proving, um, I think this is kind of proving a, a lot of previous notions about how things work uh, wrong. Um, because, right, don't we need a uh, an organizing governing body? Don't, don't you need someone to, to tell you what to do? But yet it's amazing. People are coming to their own consensus. They're, they're, you know, these groups are choosing to signal on their own, um, of their own volition and free will. That's very interesting with objective information, you know, proposed to them so that they can learn about it. That's, it's uncalled for. Uh. I, you know, I, I find it hilarious, but also very, um, uh, inspiring as well because I, I started to lose faith in humanity before Bitcoin. <laughs> so, yeah. So too. it's it's really nice. It's really nice to see this. And I know that that sounds like downer, right? And and like kind of depressing, but it, it's true, right? Like for me, I was just like, okay, well, you know, we're not going to fix the money and everyone's going to continue to be slaves. And eventually the whole entire earth is going to be owned by this very small group of insane sociopathic individuals. And now I believe that that doesn't have to happen. Humanity has a chance for freedom. Yep. It's freaking awesome. I don't know how it's I got that from Taproot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it's uh, true, dude, because it's the weekend it, it, edition. It's the weekend edition. We're getting cosmic. Oh, man. Sorry, but sorry. Speaking of getting cosmic, guys, the next segment is, is going to be addressing Bitcoin's climate FUD. I've done a tremendous amount of research into this. However, I'm not going to put in my own opinion. I'm just going to present the evidence and you guys could come to your own conclusion. And like always on Simply Bitcoin, we don't lean left. We don't lean right. We lean Bitcoin, which means we lean for individual freedom and the right for the individual to make choices about his life. Right. So I just wanted to say that before I get into this next segment, because I know that the FUD the climate FUD has been ramping up, and I promise you guys, we suspect that it's coordinated. Let's let's check this out. Now, for many years now, uh, Democrats have realized that the only way to turn their radical plans into a reality is to take more power and money from the American people and give it to Washington. They want control over almost every aspect of your life. We can't uh, drive our SUVs and, you know, eat as much as we want and keep our homes on, you know, 72 degrees at all times. We want you to eat bugs. Can't do any of those things, he said back and in 2008. And all these years nice later, climate. we see Obama's heirs carrying on his mission control. In the same way that we have taxed cigarettes, we're going to have to tax carbon. We have to take... They take combustion engine vehicles off the road as rapidly as we can. Would you support changing the dietary guidelines? The, the, yes. To reduce red meat specifically. Yes, I would. Now okay. Okay. This is mainstream media. Okay. This isn't, again, like I said, I'm not going to put my opinion into this. No. But I am going to make fun of it. To build back better, we must cooperate on climate change. To build back better or whatever. To build back better. Joe Biden calls it Build Back Better. Oh, there yeah. there it is again. Build Back Better. Oh, so strange. Okay. Kill yourself. Save the world. Let's check out the Financial Times. Bitcoin's growing energy problem. It's a dirty currency. Build Back Better. Building Back Better. To build back better. Let's move on. The Pope. The, wait. The Pope. What's going on here? I don't know about the environment. Isn't he a religious leader? Ah, okay. Anyways, let's let's uh, let's mm. let's read the tweet. Technology based on the use of highly polluting fossil fuels needs to be replaced without delay. There's a reason to hope that humanity at the dawn of the 21st century will be remembered for having generous, generally blah blah sh generously shouldered its grave responsibilities. Thank there you, you Phil. I appreciate it. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> That's strange. I thought he was a religious leader. Build it back better. It's my plan to build back better. It's about building this country back better. Uh, let's see what Preston Fish has to say. There's a lot about the say. environment, too. Yeah, uh, apparently. Let's see what uh, Preston Fish has to say. 
Even God is involved in the coordinated energy FUD attack. I didn't say that. We didn't say that, okay? No. That's his words. Growing conspiracy following it. It is called the Great Reset. Now let's check out the next article. You know, let's let's see if, uh, you know, the left in this country, let's see if, if, if it's actually having any influence or it's having any influence on Bitcoin. New bill would ban Bitcoin mining across New York State for three years. We've covered that before, right? So it looks like their narrative is actually having effects, but let's see how, how deep those effects are. Bitcoin incentivizes renewable energy. That can't be. Is that Elon Musk saying true? But wait a second. Why yeah. did he just do this? May 12th, a couple days later, Tesla has suspended vehicle purchases using Bitcoin. We are concerned about rapidly increasing use of fossil fuels for Bitcoin mining. Hmm. The theory even calls Mr. Biden's campaign slogan, Build Back Better, a front for the conspiracy. So do you think it could be that, no, I, you know what? I'm not putting my opinion into this. I'm just going to keep showing some stuff. SpaceX wins $2.9 billion government contract for next lunar lander. So it, but, but they're using, it's all renewable energy that powers the rocket. <laughs> that, that's how you get things into space. Fairies and unicorns. Don't you know? Apparently. <laughs> so let's okay, check this okay. out. Pelosi bought 25 call options on Tesla stock with a total of $1 million before Biden announces that all government vehicles will now be energy, green energy vehicles from Tesla. Biden's plan to ban gas powered vehicles starts with working on a government contract for Tesla for its automobiles. All elements of the Great Reset are fundamental to building the future we need. This pandemic has provided an opportunity for a reset. Okay, so we could know for a fact that Elon has government contracts. Th those are coincidences. It has to be. Those are, those are just coincidences. You know, pe people aren't, you know, it's not like she had any foresight in any way, shape or form uh, about that deal. There's no way, you know, there's, there, no it, way. Like, there's no way this has anything to do from Elon saying true to this and then all of a sudden doing a complete 180, right? No. None of it's connected. It's okay. And uh, it's check, just conspiracy theorists. Uh, this is all conspiracy, right? We're, again, guys, we're not telling you our opinions. I'm just showing you stuff, okay? So check this out. Tesla is seeking oh, to enter the multi-billion dollar U.S. renewable credit market, hoping to profit from the Biden administration's march towards new zero emission goals. That's weird. Okay, so let's see what the Bitcoiners have to say. Elon is a government ax asset, Max, Max Kaiser. We ha we have not said anything. I'm just showing you stuff. Well, Let's I see what Alex Lishman has to say. He is the founder and CEO of River Financial, a Bitcoin only. It's, it's pretty cool. It's like they have an app too. You could buy Bitcoin on it. Let's check it out. The energy consumption Bitcoin FUD is just getting started. Mm -hmm. Proof of stake coin marketing arms are subsidized by Silicon Valley VCs and ICO profits are going to lobby hard against Bitcoin. Banks and ESG money will join forces with them. The big fights have not even begun yet. Of course, legacy financial institutions will love proof of stake because they will have full control over them. They are non-threatening because every large custodian will be directly or indirectly controlled by the U.S. government. It's a big effort to, some would say, to build back, back better. We would say to really have a great reset. Conspiracy, conspiracy. Conspiracy. Okay. I haven't said any opinion. I just pointed out the facts, right? Just pointed out evidence. Just pointed out articles. I spent a lot of time researching this. I have said not one opinion this whole time. But what I will tell you is I suspect that the energy FUD against Bitcoin is coordinated. That's yep. all I have to say. Phil? I have not been as silent as you have read those articles. I have interrupted you and made fun. 
of many of these articles. I think it's a huge hoax. I, I think it's, I mean, you know what? Um, I actually find it very disappointing that so many people, so many humans would conspire to poison, you know, to poison their fellow humans with, with BS and crappy money and crappy fake narratives. I mean, you know, really there, look, you know, again, we, we are not against, you know, saving the world or anything like that. Like, yes, we know a hundred percent that things could absolutely be done better. That is exactly why we are cheering for a better quality base layer of money to help enable those businesses and those people that want to truly build a brighter future, building the same fiat garbage over and over again on the digital space does nothing for anyone. Okay. This is just garbage. And a bunch of people want you to hand them power. And, and apparently they're going to get you to kill yourself. They're going to get you to eat garbage. They're going to get you to become incredibly unhealthy and uninformed. Okay. And at the same time, you're, for some reason, you're going to ask for more, which is going to be the sickening part. Um, I, I just, you know, it's disgusting. It's, it's really, really crazy. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it is really crazy, you know, and like, I, I just want to emphasize this guys, like, let me just read you my sources. Okay. Just so you understand that, you know, it, like, and this is why I didn't p put my opinion in any of this. I just wanted to lay it out for you. My sources were the financial times, the Ingram, the Ingram report, Reuters, and NPR. Those are my sources. Okay. Those are, those are very, very valid sources. And mm. again, you know, when we say about, you know, these people, they, 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 they just, they want you to eat bugs and they want you to whatever, like, Look, you can cause conspiracy theories all you want, right? But but it, it comes from the horse's mouth. There's nothing like a home-cooked meal, quotation, worm. Submit your solution for the future of protein, okay? It, it, this, is, this is coming from them. The World Economic Forum are the same people that say in 2030, you will own nothing and be happy. So is it too much to say that they're using climate change? And the <clears throat> pandemic to perhaps, you know, get more control over their population and Bitcoin kind of stands in the way of that. Would that be too much to say? Is that, is that, is that too outlandish for me to say, Phil, based on everything that we just saw? No, I don't think so. I think that's plausible. Just Scary and plausible. Listen, guys, there's no conspiracies, but there's also no coincidences. And you know Just what? Just remember, the people that don't want you to believe in conspiracy theories are the ones that coined the term conspiracy theory. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so the ones desperately needing you to think that that term means something nefarious, untrue, outlandish are the same. Like, they, they are the same people, right? They, they need you to believe this. They are the ones that created it. That term was created on purpose to hide. Anyways, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. And guys, when the price is sitting here at 33K, remember that you are here for something much bigger than NGU. You're yep. here for freedom because the other side looks absolutely freaking terrifying <laughs> because it scares the crap out of me. I've come from Venezuela. I've seen what happens it's not good okay anyways phil there was a software release today why don't you tell everybody about it software releases all right everyone we had blue wallet version 6.1.4 that was released and that is down below in the show notes awesome thank you phil all right, guys, that was our show. But before we go, I want to give a shout out to Phil's glasses, new glasses. They look absolutely awesome and badass. So they freaking cool. They match the cool. background. They're that so cool. That blends they're, into the background. They're so freaking cool. So much character. I love it. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, guys, you know what to do. If you enjoyed the show, smash that like button. And of course, because this episode might be labeled 
as a conspiracy theory, I'm going to put all of our sources down below. You can check it for yourself, okay? Yeah. And uh, you guys, if you want to continue hearing the news from the Bitcoin plip plip perspective and the catastrophic shitcoin and fiat fails, definitely consider subscribing. And we'll see you on Tuesday, Monday for another episode of Simply Bitcoin. Bitcoin.